Are you ready for some football? A Super Bowl party! So when it comes to the Super Bowl, Camille, we're gonna play like champions, right? Uh, maybe we won't win. Well, maybe our team won't win, but we're gonna have some awesome recipes. We're gonna have some kids crafts and a little friendly competition on who's gonna win. Who do you guys think is gonna win? The Chiefs or the 49ers? I hope the Chiefs. Me too. We're Chiefs. Chiefs were the Chiefs team, right? Yeah, because we... So, but when it comes to recipes, guys, there are a few things you want to keep in mind. Things you can probably make ahead are good. Things that aren't too hard. And then for people who are taking their food to different parties, you want to make sure they're portable. So we're going to keep those in mind. So the first thing, guys, is let's get ready. Let's go put our aprons on, right? Yeah! You know where our aprons are now, huh? Because we just organized our pantry. Yeah. If people want to take a look at our pantry organization video, we'll post that down below, right? Yeah. And then what should people do, do also down below? Uh, give a up. Subscribe. And so they don't miss out on future videos, right? And comment. Comment down below who they think is going to win. The Chiefs or the 49ers? Okay, guys. Should we put on our aprons? Our first recipe is a Super Bowl classic. It's for Little Smokies. You have to have Little Smokies during the Super Bowl. And one of the reasons why I think they're in the Super Bowl is because you can just keep them in the slow cooker the whole game and they'll be fresh and good for everyone. Plus, you can just bring your slow cooker with you if you're not hosting the party. This recipe is really good and it only requires three ingredients three 10 ounce packages of Little Smokies, one cup of barbecue sauce, and three fourths cup grape jelly. You simply place a crock pot liner in the crock pot. You don't really have to do this, but it makes for easier cleanup. Then place the Little Smokies inside, pour the grape jelly over it and the barbecue sauce, then stir it and cook on low for two to three hours or on high for one and a half hours. Make sure you stir it before you serve it. So Camille, you were skeptical of the little weenies, weren't you? The little smokies. Yeah. You didn't think they'd be good? But now you're trying more than you said you would, didn't you? Are they yummy? So this next recipe is a little bit more difficult than the Little Smokies, but that doesn't take much. But it's sure to be a win with your guests. It not only tastes really good, but it looks quite impressive. So it will be the talk of the party. What we're gonna make is a taco dip, but not just any taco dip. It's one that will have little football players and a goal post in it. What you'll need for the, this recipe is one can of refried beans, one cup of sour cream, a half packet of taco seasoning, a fourth cup salsa, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, a fourth cup sliced black olives, a half cup diced red bell pepper, and then guacamole, baby carrots, a tortilla, and for your characters, or whatever you wanna call them, football players, I guess you call them, you'll also need more black olives and green olives. What you'll do is you'll start with your first layer, which is refried beans. For the second layer, stir one cup of sour cream and taco seasoning. The third layer is the <laughs> salsa. The fourth is shredded cheese. The fifth is the black olives and red bell pepper. The sixth is your guacamole, or if you don't wanna buy store-bought guacamole, you can always make your own. So this is what it looks like right now. Unfortunately, we didn't quite have enough guacamole, but in these areas, I'm gonna pretend it's like the end zone, and so we'll have a field goal that is made out of tortillas. We'll show you how to do that in just a moment. And then I'm also gonna just put some potato chips, so it's like the end zone. But the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take sour cream, which I have this 
daisy sour cream so it's easier to squirt hopefully since I'm not real artistic and then make lines like the lines in a football field. <laughs> you wonder what we're doing now? Yeah. So this is our goal posts right here, and you just simply cut them to look like goal posts. Then you're gonna spray both sides with cooking <laughs> Drop that silly mommy. And then we're gonna bake it for five to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. So now we're at the point where we're making our players, and basically what you want for that are, you want baby carrots and then black and green olives. You simply cut out a little bit on the olives so it looks like a helmet. Now if you're really artsy, you could take sour cream and you could create a face mask on them too. Then you put them on the field. Are you ready to get this player positioned? Yeah. yeah. guys think so far good. good the only negative is it would be nice if we had different colored helmets that were more like red and gold ones for the Chiefs and 49ers right yeah but like this one's kind of red yeah we can pretend right at least it'll get people talking at the party yeah be a conversation starter do you think there will be people that would eat the players or play with the food. Hopefully not too much if they've been sick, right? So I just pulled the goal post out of the oven. I put mine in for about eight minutes. So we'll attempt to get these. Camille, you wanna grab the other one? Uh, oh, it's over there. Or I can grab it, Camille. And then we'll just stick it in there and see how it works. There we go. What do you think, Eve? Is it a football field? Yeah. So what do you think, girl? Awesome. Awesome? Yeah. And it was easy yeah. enough for us to do as a group, right? Yeah. Like I said, you can always make it a little bit fancier by trying to do face masks on the carrots. But I didn't know if I was quite that good. And if we would have had more guacamole, that might have looked a little bit better, so we wouldn't have covered it all in potato chips there. But I am really happy with how the goalposts turned out. Those were actually really simple to do and I thought maybe that would be one of the more difficult parts. So last but not least for the recipes, we're going to make a dessert. We're making sugar cookies and of course we have some helmets we can use and we'll try to decorate them like the Chiefs and 49ers. But it's hard finding gold frosting, huh? Um, we have a trophy, which maybe we can make one trophy. And then we'll make some footballs. So for the recipe, I'm using a little bit different cookie recipe than I usually do. I'm trying one from a different YouTuber called Bits of Brie or Brianna K. Here's what you'll need. You'll need two and a half cups of flour, a half pound or two sticks of butter, one cup of powdered sugar, one egg, one and a half teaspoons of almond extract, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix everything together but the flour. Then mix in the flour last and refrigerate it for two hours. Roll it out on a lightly floured surface. Then bake it at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. Let it cool, even though that is difficult because the kids yeah. want to frost them right away. Oh, last is frost. And then frost. My goal is for my footballs to kind of look similar to like this when they're done. So wish me luck. Here's the girls's. Eve, you got a yellow football going on? Can I eat one of those? Eat one of the what, hun? The yeah. cookies? Yeah. Maybe after you eat supper, okay? Camille, what do you got going on? Uh, the footballs. The footballs? Your new brown footballs?
So Camille, we have some Super Bowl activities we're gonna do, but first we did have a request from a viewer, didn't we? Yeah. And what was that request? It's yeah, we had these balloons from our Valentine's Day party, our Galentine's Day party, which we have decorations up from still. And we'll link our video for that down below. But are you ready to pop the balloon? Yes. Okay. And it's Valentine's Day. I mean, Galentine's <laughs> Are you scared? You can use a, a scissors, huh? Instead of... Okay, be careful with that. Be careful. Yeah. Evie, there's going to be a big pop, hun. That's... Oh, there it goes! <laughs> I guess it wasn't a big pop, it was more of a... Yeah, that's good. I wish we could do it again. You could probably do it with one more. Okay, take two! You're more confident this time around, huh? Okay, do it, Camille. Evie, watch, but don't come in the video. <laughs> so for kids during the Super Bowl, it would be nice to think that you guys would just sit and watch the entire game, but uh, kids usually don't work that way. So I'm thinking of a couple of activities that kids can do during the party to try to keep them occupied. The first one might remind you more of your childhood. Remember these? Doo -doo -doo. What are they? Well, in school, people would make these in school. They're like footballs, and the teachers would get mad because, you know, we didn't have cell phones back in the day. Instead, kids would make things like this, and they'd play with them while the teacher was supposed to be talking to them. So this is like a football, and you would take it, and I'm not very good at this, and I don't know if I even remember exactly how to do it, and then you flick it. Hey, that wasn't as bad as I thought. But you try to get it in between uh, and make a score. Try to make it a score. <laughs> I'm winning right now. But yeah, so you want to learn how to make one? Yeah. yeah. So when you're making your football, you'll want to find just like a piece of paper like this. This is the best kind of paper, not construction paper or anything like that. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take it and you'll fold it once lengthwise. You'll have that crease, but then you'll uncrease it. And you'll take one fold, put it in the middle. Camille, I can show you in a second. And then take the other one and fold it in two. So then they both meet in the middle, right? Make sure you get it good and crease it good. Then you have the original crease and you fold it in there together. <coughs> So then we're going to take it and we're going to form like little triangles. So we'll start there and a triangle and another triangle. Yeah, you get the point here, right? Triangle. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Yeah. Just triangle, 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 triangle. I had to have a little refresher on how to do these since I haven't done them since I was like, I don't know. Like 10 or something. How do you do that so, one? then when you get to this last point, you're going to want to take it and you're going to want to tuck it. You want to take it and you're going to want to tuck it in. So, go like this. So, you're going to kind of form it like this. See? So, it kind of looks like an airplane a little bit. Then you're going to take it and you're going to tuck it in right here. So, I'm not, I don't do this real fast, but you want to just take it and tuck in right in there if you can see it. I might need to reposition it so like I can see it better yourself. Yep, triangle, triangle. Evie, practicing over there. Okay. There. And ta-da! Your kids have a football ready to play and hopefully not uh, be distracted when they're in school. Daddy knows how to do it, Camille? Let's see if Daddy will show us again. <laughs> Daddy likes being on TV. Whoa!
So here's our final activity. It's kind of a DIY decoration for a party. All you do is you have white paper, create triangles, so you make a banner, is what we're doing, we're making a banner. So you make triangles, then you write each team's name in there, and you punch the holes. Let's do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some tips if you have a Super Bowl party coming up. I would really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and join this Real Housewife YouTube family. Happy Super Bowl party, everyone. That's what you call yummy? Is it what you're called double dipping? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Double dipping. Double dipping. It's my favorite. It's your favorite. <laughs>